name's Kevin Wilson, and I'm senior keeper of reptiles here at the King Bay County Zoo. Um, you might be aware we have started a Head Start program for Eastern Tiger Salamanders here in King Bay County, New Jersey. We've had five egg masses that we brought back here and hatched out successfully, and out of that five, those five egg masses, eight weeks later now, we're releasing their larvae. King Bay County is the only place in New Jersey you can find the Eastern Tiger Salamander. And here in Cape May County, we do have the problems that plague a lot of uh, animals in the wild all over. We have, you know, human encroachment from population. Uh, we are uh, building more roads. We're building more homes. We're utilizing a lot more of their environment, and we're creating smaller, smaller environments for them. Salamanders are an endangered species, so we only, so we only have 15 known breeding ponds. We built new ponds in this complex and we're going to take egg masses and larvae from other existing ponds and um, colonize these new ponds using these larvae. So this is a head starting project that is part of that overall tiger salamander project. So today we're going to release these guys. And how old are these? These are eight weeks. Sure. So, um, Dave came up with the idea of enhancing tiger salamander ponds to create a stronghold in Cape May because um, in the eastern part of their range, it's limited, they're endangered in um, New Jersey, New York, they're extirpated in PA. So then we were looking at sea level rise and um, the EPA did a modeling that you could use with GIS and it showed that the majority of tiger salamander ponds were going to be um, threatened with inundation from seawater um, when sea level rises. So the peninsula there was this site and a couple others and we're like oh it'd be great to create a series of ponds to help the animals move up to the mainland so when sea level does happen um, we're able to save these populations. Another um, method of say translocation for salamanders where we took egg masses from other ponds and we kept them in cages in the pond themselves till the salamanders hatched and then we released those larvae into the ponds. For, for this technique and for the technique that we did in the cages in the ponds, we took genetic samples from um, representative larvae. So the reason for that genetic sampling is when we come back in two years, we can um, see which of the larvae, either through this method or through the cage method, are the ones that are reproducing, that are reproducing in these ponds. Um, Montclair University is doing all of the genetic sampling for us. And one of the reasons that this technique we think will work for tiger salamanders is they show that there's high mortality in the so roughly 50% of the larvae or excuse me the eggs that are laid never hatched into larvae so uh, our methods here are meant to try to get over that mortality hump and increase the number of larvae that are entering the ponds the reasons that eggs die in egg messes um, is through predation or through freezing in the ice so through this technique where there's no predation, you know, we can minimize freezing, and through caging those egg masses in the actual ponds, um, we can overcome some of those, uh, you know, those pressures, mortality pressures, or predation. Keep an eye on them. You know. It's good. Ponds, to, ponds are good. You guys don't have to shake hands for the first year, the first uh, effort. <laughs> well, high five. Congratulations. Oh, high, high five. five. <laughs> <laughs> Chest bump. <laughs>